Hey guys, today we're gonna to look at powering your camera and accessories using V-mount batteries. Let's get into it. Ever since Caleb Pike came up with the idea, YouTubers everywhere are setting up mobile uh, YouTube studios. And I'm working on doing the same thing, but one of the things I wanna work on is getting power to all of my cameras and accessories without having to charge uh, you know, all the different batteries for the different accessories or uh, running uh, cables for everything. So I picked up this small rig um, V-mount battery. This is the VB99 battery and it's a 99 watt hour battery. And using this, I should be able to, um, to power my camera, monitors, my uh, audio recorder. Um, and so we're gonna look at uh, how we can do that using uh, just one V-mount battery. So I paid about $223 for the small rig battery. Uh, so it's not the cheapest battery out there. And actually that was on sale. Regular price is about $279. And you can get V-mount batteries for less. I went with the small rig battery uh, because of the ports that are available. Not only does it have D-tap, um, but it also has um, both USB-A, USB-C, and it also has um, uh, DC barrel connections for both 8 volt and 12 volt. But because of the number of devices that I'm gonna be running, um, I need even more ports. So I got this uh, Fumito, Fumito um, uh, V-mount uh, plate that I can attach to my C-stands. And this adds an additional D-tap uh, and additional USB-A port and two additional uh, DC uh, barrel ports. One of the nice things about the small rig battery is by pressing this, uh, well, it looks like a power button, but it actually doesn't power the battery on and off. Uh, but what it does is it will, uh, let's see, it will bring up and show the current battery charge level, um, which comes in pretty handy. And when you plug accessories in, uh, it will show you how much each accessory is drawing. So my main camera is the Canon R5, and there's two different ways you can power the R5. You can use USB-C, or you can use a dummy battery. Now the problem with using USB-C is that you still have to have a charged battery in camera. By going with the um, with the dummy battery, I don't have to worry about having a charged battery for that camera at all. So what I did is I picked up this, um, this adapter from Condor Blue. It's a Canon LPE6 dummy battery uh, to a D-tap. So I can run this into either the D-tap on the battery or on the adapter plate. So I'm also going to be using the Atomos Ninja V. Uh, to monitor the R5. So the Ninja V takes the Sony style NPF batteries, but um, they also make a, a battery elimination adapter, um, which I picked up. And this, this adapter is, uh, the cable is D-tap. So since I have the D-tap in the battery and the D-tap in the plate, I can use, um, I can power both the camera and the Atomos using the two D-tap uh, plugs that, um, that I have available to me. So when I got the V-mount plate, it also came with a DC um, uh, barrel plug to barrel plug adapter, and I can actually use that with a second monitor that I have that I can mount on my rig for monitoring second camera. So if I have, for example, a top-down camera on this rig, I can monitor that camera using the Feel World 
um, monitor uh, connected to, um, to the V-mount battery. So I run audio into my Zoom F3. The Zoom F3 takes uh, AA batteries, but it also will accept USB-C. Now, one of the things I did verify is that the, uh, the, for example, if I use a plug like this, which is USB-A on one end, USB-C on the other, um, if I plug this into USB-A on the battery, it will still power all of my USB-C devices, including the camera. So what that tells me is that both the USB-A and the USB-C uh, must both be um, uh, PD rated. And finally, this is just the first V-mount battery that I've picked up. I actually plan on getting a couple more V-mount batteries uh, to run my lights. I'm using the UL150 Mark II uh, Godox lights, and uh, I'm powering them from an outlet for right now, but they do uh, both take uh, V-mount batteries. Um, the thing is, you can pick up a lot cheaper batteries that don't have the wide array of ports, and so I plan on using the less expensive batteries um, to run my lighting system. So I've been real happy with everything I've been able to do with the V-mount battery, powering the camera, multiple monitors, my audio recorder, and I still have ports left over. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and be sure and like and subscribe to my channel if you found this information helpful. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.